वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास आर गोइंग थ्रू दैप्टर टू ऑफ क्लास नाइन मोमेंट सेक्शन दैट इज वॉट द एडवेंचर चैप्टर टू रिटर्न बाय रोशन बॉल सो चिल्ड्रेंस वर वी एड लेव डी एस्ट डे और इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास फ्रॉम देयर वी स्टार्ट इट टू डे ओके सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड द पोअर मैन वॉज टेकन एवेक but with great presence of mind and moss to grandfather's annoyance he said sir you have to you have a dog with you and you have to pay for it accordingly so children annoyance means here to anger someone annoyance means here to anger someone the ticket collector was astonished to see a monkey in grandfather's bag and he recovered quickly and asked the father to pay the ticket money for traveling with the dog in vain did grandfather take toto out of the bag in vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadruped toto was classified as a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees was the sum Hand of her as is fair. So children, when when means here we have to uh, understand an unsuccessful attempt. When B A I N when when an unsuccessful attempt. Quarter means is children an animal which has four feet and that is fair. Fair means ticket price. Okay. Then what happen you see here? Grandfather was successful in explaining. to the ticket collector that toto was a monkey not a dog he insisted that toto was not even an animal with four feet but the ticket collector was firm that toto fell in the category of dogs grandfather had to pay 3 rupees for toto's ticket then grandfather just to get his own bag took from his pocket our pet tortoise and said what must i pay for this since you charge for all animals to get his own bag means here it is a idiom children okay to get his own bag means what to take revenge and it is an idea to remember this okay and product product is what it is supposed okay so see then what happen is here to get his own bag that means to take revenge grandfather was disappointed and in order to take revenge from the ticket collector he took out of his pet tortoise from his pocket he asked if he was supposed to buy a ticket for it too the ticket collector look closely at the tortoise prodded it with his four finger four finger this is four finger okay prodded it with his four fingers gave grandfather a pleased and triumphant look and said no chairs it is not a dog product means here post the ticket collector took a close look at the tortoise post is slightly announced that grandfather was not required to buy a ticket for it as it did not fall in the category of a dog when toto was finally accepted by grandfather uh, grandmother when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had a companion the family donkey nana on toto's first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable 
to his surprise he found nana without apparent cause pulling at her father and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay stable means here there is the shelter of a horse okay halter means a strap or loop placed around the head of a horse or other animal used for leading or teaching it so the next what happen you see here finally what happen the writer's grandmother came to know of tortoise presence in the house she allotted him space in the stables along with the family donkey nana on the first night in the stable grandfather visited toto he found nana restless pulling its ropes in order to stay away from the heap of hay grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches and jar bag dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth toto and nana never became friends to hunch 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 means here back back so grandfather hit nana on the back in order to stop it nana jumped back with a jerk and toto was dragged along with her so children next come to let us come to the next paragraph a great treat for toto during cold winter evenings was the last bowls of warm water given him by grandmother for his bath he would cunningly test the temperature with the sand then gradually step into the bath first one foot then the other as he had seen me doing okay so until he was into uh, until he was in the uh, until he was into the water up to his neck once comfortable he would take the soaps in his hands of feet and rub himself all over when the water became cold he would get out a roar as quickly as he called to the kitchen fires in order to dry himself if anyone laughed at him during this performance toto's feelings would be hurt and he would refuse to go on with his bath one day toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself alim so here in this paragraph children see in the winter season toto enjoyed having a warm bath he would pretend to be selfish and before starting his bath he would check the temperature of the water he would copy the writer and step into the tub one foot at a time finally he would sit in the water with his face out of it then he would rub himself with soap when the water became cold he would run out of it to the stoves in the kitchens in order to dry himself toto got annoyed if he was locked up on he would get hot and then refuse to take bath the writer recollects an incident when toto had almost boiled himself so children next see next paragraph we shall move towards the next paragraph a large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil 40 and toto 
finding himself with nothing better to do, he decided to remove the lid. Finding the water just warm, enough for a bath, he got in with his head sticking out from the open kettle. This was just fine for a while until the water began to boil. Toto then raised himself a little but finding it cold outside sat down again. He continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hauled him half boiled out of the kettle. Dear children, hold him, hold him in, pull him out. Okay? Uh, and you see another one is what is there here? Spine, spine means a desire to hold. Chatterer means the sounds made by the monkey. All this word we will see here. Okay? So hold means what? Pull him out. So then what happen you see here? So what the paragraph mean you see here, in a large kettle, water was boiling on the stove, okay. Toto climbed up to the stove and removed the lid from it. He felt that the water was warm enough, okay. He felt that the water was warm enough for him to take a bath. He entered the kettle with his head out of it when the water started boiling. It became hot for Toto. He thought of coming out of the kettle, but as the temperature outside was cold for him, he stayed in it. Toto kept on jumping in the kettle for a while. It was when the writer's grandmother arrived that she took the half-boiled monkey out of the kettle. Next paragraph. If there is a part of the brain especially developed to mischief, that part was largely developed in Toto. He was always tearing things to pieces. Whenever one of my aunties came near him, he made every effort to get hold of her dress and tear a hole in it. Then what happened? If there is a part in our brain that governs our ability to create mischief, then, then that part in Toto's brain was highly developed as he had great capacity to do mischief. He was always busy doing mischief. Whenever the writers aunties pass him, he tried to tear their dreams. So dear children, now we shall move forward to our next paragraph. So see here, one day at lunch time, a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining table. He entered the room to find Toto stuffing himself with rice. My grandmother screamed and Toto threw a plate at the heart. One of my aunties rushed forward and received a glass of water in the face. When grandfather arrived, Toto picked up the dish of pulao and made his exit through a window. We found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree, the dish still in his arms. He remained there all afternoon, eating slowly through the rice, determines on finishings of the grain, and then in order to spite grandmother, who had screams at him, he threw the dish down from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces. So children, spite is a word here. Spite, S-P-I-T, spite means desire, a desire to hurt. 
और दैट इज वॉच एन ओए और अफेंड समवान एन ओए और अफेंड समवान एन ओए और अफेंड समवान और ए डिजायर टू हॉट चेटर चेटर मीन शेयर चिल्ड्रेन द साउंड मेड बाय द मंकी ओके सो शेयर चिल्ड्रेन so what does the paragraph mean we shall see it here the writer recollects another incident when toto created a lot of mischief at launch time what happened you see at launch time a dish of rice was placed on the dining table when the family raised to eat they found toto eating it the writer's grandmother screams at toto and in response he threw a plate at her when the auntie tried to catch toto he threw a glass of water in their face when the grandfather arrived toto left the place uh, left the place through a window with the dish of rice along with him Toto remained out entire afternoon he sat on a branch of the jackfruit tree determined to eat all the rice as the grand as the grandmother had screams on him he wanted to annoy her further and so after eating the rice he threw the dish it broke into several pieces obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long obviously toto was not the sort of pet we would keep for long even grandfather realized that we were not well to do and could not afford the frequent loss of dishes clothes curtains and wallpaper so grandfather found the tanga driver and sold toto back to him for only 3 rupees then what happened children you see here finally grandfather realized that toto was not suitable to be kept at home okay and then what happened you see here they could not afford the frequent losses that he gave them he tore clothes curtains wallpapers and broke dishes so what happened you see the grandfather sold toto back to the same tanga driver for a sum of 3 rupees only so children this is what all about the story but i would like to tell you here a little bit of the summary of this um chapter the adventure uh, the adventures of toto so children see here the total uh, there is what the summary of the total story okay as you know that the chapter is the adventures of toto the writers grandfather like to collect animals and had a zoo at home once he bought a monkey named toto from a tonga driver for a sum of 5 rupees toto was kept secretly as the grandmother disliked animals toto was very mischievous when the writer and his grandfather hid toto in a cupboard and tied him to a hook he broke the hook and caused havoc in the room the next day when he was kept in the servants rooms along with other animals he did not let them sleep all night he did not let them sleep all night as grandfather had to go to saranpur for work he decided to take the monkey along with him he carried toto in a strong bag made of canvas and closed the jeep nicely so that toto could not escape toto made unsuccessful attempt to get out of the bag 
Quiz mer the bag. Jump and roll. This arouses the curiosity of fellow passengers at the railway stations. At the Saransur railway station, when grandfather was getting his ticket, getting his ticket check, Toto picked out of the bag and smiled at the ticket collector. As the ticket collector declared that it was a dog, grandfather had to buy a ticket for three rupees, must with annoyance. When Toto was accepted by grandfather, it was given a place in the stable along with the donkey Nana. Toto did not get along with Nana as well. Toto enjoyed taking bath in the warm waters during the winter seasons. One day, he almost boiled himself when, the, when he jumped into a kettle of boiling water one afternoon. Toto at the family meal of Pulau, he threw the empty dish from the tree and it broke into several pieces. Toto's mischiefs grew by the day and grandfather realized that they could not keep him at home. Finally, he found the Santonga driver and sold Toto back to him for a sum of 3 rupees. So dear children, this is all about the chapter, The Adventures of Toto. I hope you must have understood this.